biggest scandal in American history, bar none, the attempted coup of the United States government. They conned you, they gamed you, and they lied to you over and over and over for three years. They destroyed lives, reputations, and families. And in the end, no one coordinated with Russia. No one, not Donald Trump, not any Trump, not anyone on the campaign. After two years of prosecutors savagely striving to indict the president and everyone in his orbit, years of the mainstream media, the talking heads, the networks, cable and otherwise, the lying, liberal Hollywood hypocrites trying to convince you that he was an illegitimate president. But in the end, nothing. No collusion, no obstruction, nothing. And they didn't care whose lives they destroyed. What mattered was that they destroy the outsider, the one we, the forgotten men and women of America, put in the oval. The outsider that convinced us that status quo was a choice and that he could do better. They chipped away with unending zeal, desperate for any connection, threatening families and witnesses and individual civil liberties to obtain their corrupt goal of removing the president of the United States. All the while, in spite of it, President Trump worked tirelessly to better our lives, our economy and the security of this great nation. You know, we constantly hear about voter suppression from the left, but the biggest voter suppression effort ever took place at the highest level of our government as they tried to oust the man they couldn't control. And when you think about a coup, you think of the military. But here, the effort to discredit this president was by law enforcement manipulation the intelligence community and the law enforcement community, the DOJ and the FBI, and the snake at the head, CIA Director John Brennan. Everything in my book, Liars, Leakers, and Liberals, was validated by the Mueller report. People scoff and laugh at the idea of a deep state, but you've watched it all, up close and personal. These swamp scum lie for a living, from clueless clapper on down. It's the first time in American history people with unbridled power made the determination to overthrow a presidential candidate and then to plant the seeds for indictment and impeachment, to destroy the will of the American people who voted for change in America. This can only happen at this level of government by the head of the CIA, the head of the FBI, Comey, the head of the Justice Department, Loretta Lynch, only with a wink and a nod from the commander-in-chief. Where did this group get the confidence that this was okay? Who above them could possibly have given the green light? The unverified Steele dossier was the excuse and justification for this rogue intelligence operation. And any time there's a coup, there's both an affirmative and a defensive course of action. Affirmative, destroy Trump. Defensive, endorse Hillary. So where do we go from here? I want to know, who was the judge that signed the first FISA warrant? And the second judge who signed the re-upping of the warrant? And the evidence that backed up the extension of that warrant? Who signed the second extension? And what additional evidence was provided to that judge? And why haven't we heard the FISA court being investigated? Why is there even a FISA court to begin with? I want John Brennan, who tries to get out of this mess. He's in by saying, oh, I got bad information. I want him investigated by a grand jury. And McCabe and Strzok and Loretta Lynch and that pious, condescending, holier-than-thou Cardinal Jim Comey. When someone lies to you, do you just say, don't worry about it, I'll get over it? Well, that's not how our system works. There has to be accountability. There has to be a consequence. Because as the president himself said, this should never happen again. And I can guarantee you it will happen again. Unless we make an example of the traitorous, treasonous group that accused Donald Trump of being an agent of the Russian government. And as they spewed their hate, I want to know who did the unmasking, who did the leaking, 
And if we don't have a consequence, if people at the highest level of government are not held responsible for this, it is a blueprint for a future effort to overthrow the government. Don't be satisfied with the Mueller report. This is bound to happen again because these arrogant, lying, condescending, leaking haters of you and me and the America that doesn't have power are going to do it again unless we stop them. And the only way to stop them is with justice, true justice. And that's behind the bars justice. And that's my open. Let me know what you think on my Facebook and Twitter, hashtag Judge Janine.